Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Joey Chaos here at the Santino Brothers Wrestling Office, and I'm back with my pro wrestling tips. What I want to talk to you guys today is how do I prepare for pro wrestling school? So you've made the decision uh, to become a professional wrestler. You've watched it your whole life, and you decided uh, that this is what you want to do. So what are some of the first steps that you should take uh, before you actually go to the wrestling school itself? Uh, some of the tips that that, I, that we have here is first of all, you want to you want to have a workout regimen. You want to have you want to have a workout routine that you do. What we recommend uh, for professional wrestling, obviously, you know, hit the gym, hit the weights. But how do I do that? Uh, we recommend circuit training, 45 seconds on, um, with a uh, 15 second between the next exercise, with another 45 seconds on. Do that five to six times with one minute break. Um, what that's going to do is really going to help your cardio um, and, and really get you prepared for professional wrestling school. So now that you've got a workout routine going and you're doing the circuit training and you're working on your cardio, what else can I do? Um, you know, if you're young and you're still in school, we recommend that you get into team sports, whether it be football, basketball, baseball, tennis, swimming, some kind of team sports uh, where you have a coach. Um, and you have a and you have a team that uh, to work with because you want to become coachable um, You want to be able to become coachable when you go to professional wrestling school and that's going to really help you out a lot um, By ha by being you know having another athletic background uh, Besides just sitting on the couch watching wrestling um, and then deciding to come to wrestling school So, you know if you have a workout regimen and now that you're you know, you're part of some kind of team sports um, That's really going to help you out um, you want to be coachable um, and so now that you have that down what what can I do next is now you want to do your research and find a reputable wrestling school you know um, what is a reputable wrestling school um, well you want to look at uh, where are some of their trainees where are they wrestling are they wrestling on places that you want to wrestle at are they wrestling at NXT or Ring of Honor or PWG um, or some of the independent wrestling um, uh, promotions in your area um, that you that's a good way to find a, a reputable wrestling school um, you want to it's easy to look up uh, reviews on Facebook or even Google to see how these wrestling schools are you can even ask around to see hey what is this wrestling school all about if you don't know anything about it um, and that's part of doing your research to find a reputable wrestling school now if you're in a certain area because I get it all the time here on this YouTube channel like hey I'm um, um, I watch all your how-to videos I don't have a wrestling school in my area um, what can I do? You know, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to where the wrestling school is. You know, um, I recommend always going to a beginner school uh, to to learn the fundamentals of professional wrestling. You know, um, some sometimes you you know guys want to uh, want to maybe uh, uh, bounce around um, and go to the best wrestling school, but sometimes like even even like uh, say a Lance Storm school. Um, you know, I don't recommend going right off the bat. I'd recommend learning from a, a reputable uh, beginner school um, and then going to Lance Storm because you don't want to really waste your, your time picking his brain on a forward roll or some of the basics in wrestling. Um, you maybe want to get beyond that and then maybe pick his brain on some of the more psychology aspects of professional wrestling that he's definitely going to help you out and tune you. Like a finisher school is what I would consider him is a finisher school to go to after you've gone to your reputable beginner school in your area you know but once again if there's not in your area you're gonna to have to go and find one and that's gonna take a lot of sacrifice and that's the sacrifice that we talk about in professional wrestling you know so you're not only sacrificing your money even if the school is in your area but if it's not in your area now you have to find a place to live um, anywhere from three months to a year uh, to go through a school's program um, you know so you're gonna definitely have to do your research on that um, and find what wrestling school is going to fit best for you um, and definitely have to uh, and then you'll have to go to it and then become uh, you want to be coachable you know um, in the aspect of wrestling as you're doing it you want to as you're as you're in class you want to continuously watch wrestling you know you want to be a sponge you don't just want to watch the wrestling that's on today but watch wrestling from yesteryear um, it's so important to feed your mind um, this entire wrestling game because it should consume your soul because there are people out there that wrestling is is everything ab about them it consumes their skull they're in it to win it um and you're gonna have to be in it to win it just like the rock says you're gonna have to be the hardest worker in the room 
Um, and you're also going to have to be the hardest worker when you're not in the wrestling classroom. You know, because the wrestling class training doesn't just end at wrestling school. You have to continue it. You know, you should hopefully that maybe your trainers are filming some of your training so you can go back and watch it and how you can correct it and make it a lot uh, and make it better. You know, um, because a lot of times we'll actually do moves and we'll feel good that we do them, but then we'll go back and watch them on video and see the how much work that it needs to be worked on. Um, and so let's not wait until we're doing a training match or until we're actually doing a match. Let's do that actually in training and watch our stuff, you know. So it's so important um, to watch your progress in wrestling school. Um, find your uh, the, the, uh, the coach that's going to mentor you. Uh, you want to be able to ask questions, right? You know, you, always, you might feel... Um, this is a stupid question, but just like the old saying goes, the only, the dumbest question is the one that's not asked, you know, so you want to ask the questions as, you, as you're in wrestling school, you want to pay attention, you know, if the coach is answering somebody else's question, uh, that could be your question, so pay attention to what they're saying in the ring, so that way you don't have to go through the same mistake. And usually if they've already corrected somebody in wrestling school and you come in line four people later and make the same mistake, um, that's really going to piss off the trainers because then you're not paying attention while you're in line, while you're waiting, while you're watching, you know. And that's part of being coachable um, is in, in, the, in, in, in wrestling and the wrestling training. And it's going to take time for you to cut your teeth, you know. You go through our Santino Brothers Wrestling Program. We have a program that's a year. Some people are ready, you know, within eight, nine months. Some people are ready in the 12 months. Some people take a little bit longer. Some people are going to be are going to take up to two years. Everybody learns at a different pace, you know. And you know, it's 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 our responsibility as wrestling trainers to make sure that you are not only representing yourself but representing the school and what we train here at Santino Brothers. So we're only going to going to let you wrestle a match when we deem you ready, and that's going to come and take when you put in all the hard work um, that it's going to take at, at professional wrestling schools. So. Um, those are some of the key tips that you want. You know, you want to get a workout regimen. You want to get on team sports. You want to become coachable. Do your research on wrestling schools. Find the most reputable wrestling school um, that you can go to. And I do recommend, you know, find a reputable uh, beginner school. Someone that's going to teach you the, uh, the beginner roles before. To see if this is something that you want to do before you uproot everything and go to uh, the superstar school that's out there. So um, I hope those tips uh, helped you out. I'm Joey Chaos here at Santino Brothers Wrestling. Uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, hit, hit me up in the comment section, and I'll make sure to hit answer um, all the comments that you guys send out there. So thank you, guys. Catch you on the next video. Yeah. Let's go.